Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be illustrating the toString function, vb.net. Um, every programming language has a toString function, and it serves a couple purposes. One of those is it's an explicit conversion, right, from one type to a string, and that's really the big reason that you use it. But what I'm going to go over today, really, are those arguments that you can pass to toString. And so I've used a comment here to illustrate the ones I'm going to talk about. So I am going to talk about currency, scientific notation, number, percent, and uh, not much about hex, but uh, a little bit about hex if you ever want to do that. There are additional uh, arguments that you could pass, but if you're watching this video, you probably don't need to know them. So what I've got here is a little form. It's pretty cheesy. I've got a text box. I've got a button. When the user clicks the button, it's going to spit out the value to this text box. So looking at what I've got right here, I've got a couple variables. One of them is a date, because writing dates is kind of weird, right? A date needs to be wrapped in uh, pound signs. And I've got a number, one, two, three, four, five, point six, seven, eight, nine. All right, now I've done the setup. Now I can get into the actual interesting stuff. So here I'm saying display to a text box this thing here uh, formatted as a string and I'm passing it an n right n is for number so let's see what it does right it already is a number so that's kind of a weird thing to do so kind of all it's doing is a type conversion if I run my little program and I click the button you'll see uh, it's a string right which you really can't tell but uh, VB can well, the thing to take away from this is notice that it put a separator in there. Or in other words, it put a, a comma in here. Right? So when you do n, that's the reason you would do that, is it's going to increase readability. Also, recognize that there are two decimal places, and it was rounded appropriately. That 6-7 became a 6-8 because the next significant digit was an 8. Um, just to put this in little perspective, so if n with no numbers, it does that. Uh, if I were to go n... 3, I've got to stop, that didn't take, and 3, that's going to round it to 3 decimal places. And this video is going to take forever if I just if I do too many of these. But you can see now I've got 3 decimal places. And you can pass any number of arguments in the form of this uh, digit here. Right? The important thing to understand is that if there's no digits, it's the same thing as a 2. Right, so that's that's the thing to get hung up on. So n, that's that's an important one, and really it just makes your numbers more readable. It doesn't do anything to them. It's not like c for currency. Currency is a crazy one, and I'll show you why. All right, so here's same variable. Now I'm formatting it as currency. It's probably going to do roughly what you would expect. Notice that I did not put a number after it. Well, that means it's going to get two decimal places, and it's going to be rounded appropriately. And you can see I've got the same number with the separators and the dollar sign, right? So it truly is a string, and you can see that a little bit better here. Now what's interesting, and I don't know if I, I, I definitely don't like it, but that's okay. Let's make this a negative number. If I make this a negative number, and let's just do something weird like a 1, and I run this thing. Yeah, my hotkeys don't work, uh, so I, I have to click run. You'll notice I get accounting format, right? So accounting means uh, the parentheses and no negative sign. That is not the case for the number format. Number format would, in fact, have a uh, negative sign. But if you're doing currency, you're going to get this format, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it exists. Notice it was rounded appropriately, of course, right? Um, so currency is a big one. Number is a big one. Percent is also a big one. Let's do percent with, uh, this is going to be stupid, but we can look at it. I say it's going to be stupid because this is a very large percent. This is going to be uh, I don't know, about a million percent or something like that. Yeah, so that's negative one million percent. Notice I did not put anything after the P, so I got two decimal places. So that's the cool thing about percent is it does the math for you. Those of you that are familiar with percents know it's the same thing as kind of dividing by 100, something like that, or multiplying by 100, however you want to look at it. Um, you see how that worked. All right, so the next one that I'm going to illustrate is the E. So this is for scientific notation. Um, probably not going to use this one a whole lot, but you could. It's, it's more an issue of you might see it sometime. 
And so it's that kind of unusual format that you might see on like a calculator display. Because of course it's not going to display the uh, caret. And so you're going to notice an E. And that is the, uh, that's the uh, exponent right there. So those are the important ones. There's also a slew of ones related to date formatting. And there are a lot of those. And so rather than even attempting to think about showing you those, I will show you uh, like a simple Google search just on string, uh, date, uh, so two string date formats yields a page like this. And you can see that there's, here's a list of 27 different, different uh, date formats. And so these are the arguments that you could pass to two strings. So for example, if you passed it two M's, a slash, two D's, and four Y's, case sensitive, of course, you're going to get something like that. The more valuable takeaway from something like this is you're seeing these four, or these five here have four lowercase d's as the first argument. And that seems to be indicating uh, Tuesday. And so, I'll, I guess we'll just do, well, it's a weird one, something, all right, how about four uppercase m's are going to give me the word August, or whatever the actual variable has in it. So let me show you what that means. Not that you're going to apply these a lot, particularly if you're taking a class or something. You can only get so carried away with this. So I'm going to change my number to my date. And what was it? Four uppercase M's. And so this is going to pick out the month, and presumably it's going to display June. Yeah, right, there we go. And so realize that there are references for that because the alternative is you writing some giant string of if statements uh, and you shouldn't need to do that so if you need to do some particular formatting to a date uh, just google it right I mean why not so that is really about all I can say about formatting and the two string function it is one that you're going to use it's a nice way to do explicit type conversions like typically when we do an explicit type conversion we go C string right this performs the same thing in that it changes the type but it also allows us to control the formatting which is nice I'm gonna keep trying to make some videos here um, but thanks for watching this one we'll see you soon